Okay, time to put the whole, <coughs> excuse me, the control horn on the rudder. And uh, the airplane's pointing this way. This is the left side of the rudder. Okay, and the left side of the rudder is not the right side where the um, elevator control horn is. So on the left side, that's the left side. I'm going to turn it over and set it down like this. Okay. Then I'm going to get my uh, rudder bag out. My elevator bag is finally empty. Actually, not quite empty. It still has the, the clevis with the um, fuel tubing on it. Um, but let me get out the rudder and get out it rudder bag, get its control horn out. <coughs> Just as a reminder, I'm going to go ahead and put the um, fuel tubing on the clevis so I don't forget it. Okay, so um, not much different. The drawing says to have this um, in line with the gap and one eighth from the bottom down here. One eighth of an inch up from the bottom, so down a little bit more maybe. Just like that. So, um, no different. I'm not going to film this. You can you can probably do this one. One more tip about the rudder uh, control horn. If you look at this picture very carefully, it is exactly how it should look. So it's not quite parallel to this. It's not quite parallel to that. Uh, but actually this top portion is in line with um, the rudder and you're an eight, eighth inch from the bottom. So follow that drawing very carefully. It's exactly right. Okay, um, rudder control horn is on. Actually this one's stuck out far enough to put two of the little nuts on each post. And that way it's not sharp or going to cut any covering on anything. Okay, so rudder and elevator uh, control horns are in place. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the next video.